Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to share with you three secrets that will definitely help improve you, the way you grip the golf club. Stay tuned. So, what are these three secrets that are going to help to improve the way that you grip your golf club? Well, the first thing is, golf grips are different to most other sporting implements. If we think about tennis rackets, cricket bats, they're very different. The golf grip is actually thicker at the top here and it's thinner at the bottom here. Now the reason it is different is it's designed to be gripped in a different part of your hand. So up in the top part here where it's thicker, we actually grip it more in the palm of the hand. Down here, we actually grip across the middle joint of our fingers. A lot of people feel a lot more comfortable being in what I call the palm of the hand, but it's really designed to be gripped in those middle two joints in the finger. Once we do that, we can then get the club in the correct part in our hand, and that gives us freedom of movement. We can then allow our hands to totally control the club face. Unfortunately, as my old golf coach Alex Mercer said when I was younger, son, if it feels strong, it's wrong. So this grip here that I'm using now, which is quite a strong grip, strong meaning that my right hand is turned under the club and I'm in the calluses of my right hand, that feels very strong, it feels powerful, but it actually doesn't work. Because if I grip the club and I let my hands do the correct movement, I get back to impact and the club face is closed and I'm going to hit the ball a long way left. So then my brain self adjusts on the next one and I come back with my hands in front of the club trying to square the club and I overdo it and I hit the ball a long way right. So we need a neutral grip. So getting the grip in the fingers of the right hand is very important. Then that fleshy pad sits over the top of the thumb and that gives us the right grip. So that's the first one. The second one, if you use the overlapping grip, or the Varden grip, which is this one here, a lot of people put that finger in the back. Now unfortunately with that grip in that situation, it's creating too much tension in the middle part of my hands and that won't allow me to release the club properly. So the absolute best place for that little finger to be is up on top of this finger here. It feels terrible the first time you do it, it feels weak. But once again, if it feels strong, it's wrong. So we want to make sure that we have that finger up over the top there. Okay. Now the last one is, you've probably heard coaches talk about we want a light grip pressure. And the way I think about it, if I was to have a sword fight, I would want to be gripping the club quite lightly. And then I have great control over what my club is doing. If I grip it very tightly, I don't have a lot of control over what the sword is doing. Likewise with golf, we want to grip the club reasonably lightly. The lighter I grip it, the more control I have over the club face. Now, the right tension is about four out of 10. 10 being the tightest that I can grip, zero being the lightest I can grip. So a lot of people have heard that before, people use it. Here's a good way to try and test whether your hands are, are actually at about four out of 10. So you take your grip and your setup, and you wanna be able to make a vertical circle. If I can make a vertical circle, my hands are the right grip tension. If I grip too tightly, I'm not making much of a vertical circle there. So we wanna be able to almost hit the top of the cap off my head, my Mizuno cap there, I should be able to nearly knock it off. I'm hitting it there, my hands are light, and I'm, I've got total control over what it is that I'm doing. So I hope you've enjoyed that. So those three things again, we wanna make sure that we're gripping the club in the middle joint of, of our right hand. If you're left-handed, it's in your left middle joint of your left hand. We wanna make sure that we, when we use the Varden grip, we get the little, little pinky on top of that left pointer finger. And we want to just keep watch with our grip tension. The lighter, the better. Four out of 10, make a vertical circle. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the round avatar down there to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. And you can go to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.